This for number 700. And all the applause are for you, Jack. G'day, Pup. Sauce here. I just want to you know, congratulate you on your 300th game milestone. You know, I love you, mate, so go well. They all go oh, up. Rebound. What a mark. Rebound with the flights. Earliest memories of, of Jack is Jumping Jack. You know, this guy that just would leap on anything, take some freakish marks and kick some freakish goals. To four, four. Oh, nearly Jack. That would have been something. This might top it off. He's floating, floating, floating. A goal. Oh, yes. <laughs> Early memories of Jack are probably uh, never good and he probably would admit that himself. The highest of energies, pain in the bottom. As he's got older, he's probably got even more competitive. It's kind of, you know, shifted his focus off himself and onto the group and how do I make others around me better? You know, we have some amazingly talented younger players that play a similar position or are trying to take that spot away from him. And earlier days, it was about how can I stay ahead of them? Now it's how can I help them? Him taking me under his wing and sort of learning the craft as a small forward, even though he's a key forward, he always teaches me what a small forward should do. At the back, rebound, sits the handball up and Rioli doesn't miss. His sacrificial acts and, you know, he'll always put, you know, a player ahead of him. You know, he'll pass off to get another young kid involved to kick his first goal or just to make him feel good about himself. Rivaldo! He went for the right of his life, Revo, and Tyson Stengel <laughs> can put it through. In the past, he may have been a little bit misunderstood in the why behind what he's doing. You know, as he's matured and had kids and found a greater purpose than just trying to be the absolute best footballer that he can possibly be. It's amazing to see the, the, the way he leads. He's a family man. You know, he's got two lovely girls now, and I just love the way he's shifted his focus of football and focus on being the best possible daddy he possibly can be. Yeah, he's just a very caring, caring person. He'll do anything for anyone. He's good fun to be around. With footy, probably just the enjoyment we play with each other. He makes it fun. I love running out next to him. And Martin was onto it. And he'll work with Revolt. And they will combine for the first goal of the second half. Dusty and Jack. Jack and Dusty. And as a person, you know, he's always been there for me. He's one of those guys that you can always lean on. Yeah, everyone knows he's a gun player, he's kicking bags. I get to have VIP seats watching him do his thing on game days, which is pretty nice. Knocked down, Rewalt stalking it. He toes it to his own advantage. Captivating from Big Jack. Last year's grand final, 2020, in the last quarter, kicked off from, from the boundary. Summed up a year what was very difficult for everyone and kind of was a, the sealer of the game. I remember my first year, 2010, he kicked 10 goals against the Eagles. The new hero has double figures. Gold Coast, we kicked 10, made it look so easy. I'm like, wow, couldn't stop, he was on fire. Tried to cool him down, but nah, he kept going. Dimmer puts it up on the screen every now and then and he shows Jack celebrating. It's just so authentic and it's so him. He's a uh, yeah, very, very passionate individual. He's loud but in a positive way. He loves it being in the media. Yeah, he's obviously an extrovert and he's good fun to be around and there's never a dull moment whether he's singing in the gym or he's carrying on about something else. Jack, congratulations on game 300. As you know, not many people play 300 and it's very deserving of you being a superstar on and off field for so long. Hopefully we get a win for you and you enjoy the game and um, I'm sure you'll kick a fair few goals. Jack, congratulations. Um, I love you as a, as a friend and as a teammate. I'm very grateful to be a friend of yours, so uh, all the best.